This is an explanation for problem number 35. The speed of the bicycle, the tires of a bicycle have a radius of 13 inches and are turning at a rate of 200 revolutions per minute. See the figure. How fast is the bicycle traveling in miles per hour? And of course they give you a hint here. So the first thing we need to visualize is the fact that when it talks about revolution, 200 revolutions per minute, 200 revolution, that revolution is code for circumference. So when it talks about a wheel revolving, a wheel turns on the length of when that turns like that, it's the circumference, which C equals D pi. So your first order of business, of course, is to find the conference, circumference. So C equals D pi. So we trace that, of course, that's 26 inches. So 26 inches times pi. And we're gonna get an approximation for the circumference here. So 26 times the pi sign. I'm going to take it to the second decimal place, uh, 81.688 inches. And we are traveling 200 of those, 200 circumferences per one minute. So we need to get our conversion here. We're going to times that by 200 to get the original speed in inches per minute. So times 200. And that's 16,336.28. 16,336.28, and that's inches per one minute. Now, since we're gonna go into miles, first thing I'm gonna do, and miles is, our center is feet here. I'm gonna take this in inches. I'm gonna get it into feet first by dividing. So our goal here is just going to be a bunch of conversions. And we're doing 16336.28 inches. And we have one minute. So our ambition is to get into miles per hour. So we need to just bring all our conversions in one fell swoop. So first I'm gonna start with this conversion. Is that in one foot, there are 12 inches. That's my first conversion. And in 5,280, feet, there is one mile, I forgot my zero there, double check that, yep, 5,280 feet is one mile, okay, so now I've got miles where it needs to be, right there, now I need to get the minutes converted, so minutes, there is 60 minutes in an hour, one hour. So now I have my hour where it belongs. 
At this point, you simply do the math. So I'm going to take this number times by that number, times by that number, times by that number, and I'm going to divide by all of these numbers. So we're going to start with that 16,000, which is still on my calculator. We're going to times by 60. And I'm going to divide by well, and then divide by five thousand two hundred and eighty. And we are going fifteen point four seven miles per hour. Fifteen. 0.47 miles per every hour. If you take a look, the way I set it up is that the inches cancel, minutes cancel, the feet cancel, so that you're only left with miles per hour. And then in real life problems, this should make sense. 15 miles per hour um, is probably about normal for a bicycle. If that was 150 miles per hour, then there would be another discussion. So it's a good idea just to take a step back and ask, is this reasonable? Is this logical?